What secret codes are all around us that only people in the know recognize? Comcast has an awesome one. If you call the cancellation line and say I would like to cancel my account, they will offer you premium channels and shit for free. At the mall, they taught us to use Nora if someone was being belligerent and we needed to get the cops in here. Nora equals need officer right away. For example, if a guy was at the counter screaming and cursing, threatening us, but we couldn't escape, he won't leave, and we felt unsafe, we'd ask him to hold while I called a manager. Then I'd get the phone, call the police station in the mall, legit cops, not mall cops, and say something like, hi Nora, this is so and so calling. I have a customer issue I was hoping you can help with. Then hang up and announce the manager was on the way. Cops showed up instead. In Indonesia, whenever you're dealing with anyone working in the government, police officers, custom officers, airport security, etc., when they start talking about how strict the rules are or how they need to meet some sort of quota, that means they're expecting a big bribe. I tend to play dumb and go, oh okay then. I guess I'll just have to throw this thing out slash go to court slash not bother getting this document. It's fun watching them panic and try to find a subtle way of asking for a bribe without saying they want a bribe. They'll usually say something like, but I really want to help you. Really, really, want to. Court is no place for a girl. It's really dirty and you won't want to go there. The fine you'd end up paying will be more expensive than if we just settle it here. Look, I normally don't do this, but you remind me of my daughter slash you seem like a nice kid slash, any other excuse to make it seem like I'm a special case, so I'm going to help you out. But give me something to make it worth my risk, okay? Haha ha, that's great. What do you end up doing slash saying most of the time? Ever called their bluffs all the way just to see? When dealing with the Japanese, that will be very difficult means no. Few years ago I worked as a nightclub bouncer, so I could make some extra cash. The code for all security to the dance floor, because shit is erupting slash riot imminent was for the DJ to play usher yeah. Noticeable because it was an EDM club that had a bad reputation for fighting, and the song was so obviously out of place we'd all be alerted. To this day I can't hear the song without getting a surge of adrenaline and getting ready to brawl for my life. 437737 means herpes in online dating. I saw a profile of a girl saying she has 437,737 cats and thought I'm sure that number has some significance. Apparently if a person puts that number in their profile it means they have herpes and they want to let people know without getting embarrassed. I was once on a cruise ship and there was an announcement on the tannoy for the crew Starlight, Starlight. Some were visibly shaken and it caused quite a bit of upset. Later discovered that was code 4 elderly passenger has died. The QEII had a small onboard mortuary. Go up and ask someone if they are a friend of Bill's. That's how AA members can identify each other in public. Not everyone does it that way though. Bill because he's one of the founders. Every married couple needs a secret code, known only to the two of them, that means I'm bored. Let's go home. When I worked at a supermarket many years ago, we had code 12 which was called on the speakers if they saw a very attractive person in the store. The code would also say we're so for example code 12 bread. We had a code for either sex, just can't remember the other one. A few years ago, I went to pick up a large pizza from Marcos in Michigan and the cashier asked, would you like that cut with a clean knife, and I was like WTF? She looked super frightened and rushed the order after that. Was that a code? I used to work at a pizza place, we had a pretty big Indian population in the area, nearly all of them were vegetarian for religious purposes, and would ask for their vegetarian pizzas to be cut with a clean knife to avoid contamination by meat. In my office, when someone announces, your ride's here, that means somebody unidentified has just walked in. It's a closed, private office with no receptionist or public coming and going. 
If it's nobody we're expecting, it sounds better than somebody just walked in the door. They're announcing it to colleagues. Presumably there's concerns about confidentiality, presentation, accountability, and what the fuck this person is doing here. It's just challenging a stranger, basically, but in a way that doesn't make you feel like a tosser by getting in their face or make them aware that they've been challenged. Sounds very sensible dot to dot me. Code Adam stickers on the front of stores mean that the employees have been trained on how to deal with a missing child report.